I am Willy Wonka, the greatest candy maker of all time. I know cause I was there When it comes to chocolate Is any flavor in the That's the age of chocolate He ran When it comes to Tiring to make way for someone new. Some bright spark all be hiring, but who? Whatever your opinion is about me, the chocolate world could not survive without me. There'd be no more chocolate ripples or chocolate tipples, chocolate ruffles or chocolate truffles, chocolate kisses for sweet young misses, soft and creamy, completely dreamy, or chocolate ices, cause chocolate's crisis will grow and grow and grow. The day that I retire, I know. Chocolate squiggles, or chocolate giggles, chocolate twirlies, or chocolate swirlies, chocolate twirlies for all you girlies, chocolate bagels, or chocolate bugles, or chocolate bubbles, the chocolate troubles grow and grow and grow. The day that I retire, I mother of Mr. Bucket, and those two very old people on the other side of the bed are the father and mother of Mrs. Bucket. The, this is Mr. Bucket, and that is Mrs. Bucket. The young girl sitting right there in the center is Charlie Bucket, their only daughter. Here you go, Grandpa Joe, cabbage soup. Every day, nothing but cabbage soup. Cheer me up, Charlie. Tell me the chocolate news. Wonka's got a new bar out. Lunch Whiffle or Mallow Banks? Mallow with flavor shifters. <laughs> flavor shifters? My. Papa, what's the latest cap count? 1,249,967 perfectly installed toothpaste caps, Charlie. Do you think I might work in the toothpaste factory one day? Let's hope not, Charlie. What kind of positive thinking is that? Charlie is going to work for Mr. Wonka making candy bars. Now, Grandpa Joe, don't go filling the girl's head with dreams of candy. Charlie comes from a long line of distinguished candy men. And women. But Wonka hasn't hired anyone, so it's slug with spies, so it's candy balloon recipe. Oh, <laughs> Wonka was so angry. He gathered all the factory workers and said, I'm sorry, but you all must go home. Then he locked the gates of the factory forever. But Mr. Wonka still makes candies. I can smell them on my way to school. Yes, but no one goes in and no one comes out. Shadow workers. Maybe they're dead. Who knows? Grandpa Joe, you're going to give Charlie nightmares again. What'd she say? She said she's making bathtub gin. oop de doo we're playing gin. Oop, doggies, hi, men. Charlie, run out and see if anyone's done with the newspaper. Okay, Dad, but you'll have to feed Grandpa George. Here you are, Dad. Cabbage soup. Oh, fiddlesticks, I thought we were playing gin. Sit 
see these kids? They line up outside of Charlie's house every day after lunch with a shiny nickel apiece to buy a Wonka bar from the local candy man. The only kid with no nickel is Charlie. water. could use a little spoiling. Here, take one of these on the house. Really? Thanks. Who can take tomorrow? Dip it in a dream. Separate the soul and collect upon the cream. The candy man. The candy man can. It makes the world taste good. Thanks for the candy. Oh yeah, my dad was wearing to bar of the newspaper. I'm afraid it's yesterday's paper, but here you go. Thank you. What's the world coming to when a family can't even afford the paper? I'll be chocolate crispy. Would you look at this? Wonka factory to be open to a lucky few. Do you mean people are actually going to be allowed inside the factory? Read what it says. Mr. Willy Wonka has decided to allow five children to visit his factory. The lucky five will tour the factory and receive a lifetime supply of chocolate. Tour the factory? Eat a lifetime supply of chocolate? Read on! Five golden tickets have been hidden among five million ordinary candy bars. The finders of these golden tickets will win the tour and the chocolate. That's a million to one shot. Those tickets could be anywhere. That paper's a day old. Charlie, Charlie, could you imagine winning? Touring the factory. Meeting Mr. Wonka. Seeing for yourself all those undead zombie workers. Eat a lifetime supply of chocolate. Eating a lifetime supply of chocolate! Oh my, one o'clock already? Charlie, honey, you better hurry back to school. It's back to the twists and turns of toothpaste for me. Goodbye, William. Goodbye, Helen. Charlie, Charlie, come here. Remember, we may be starving and we may be poor, but the Bucket family always thinks positive. Write it down in purple ink, Charlie. 
purple ink. B O S T. No, you idiot. I is an idiot. I T I B E. Positive. See you guys later. <laughs> So, Mr. Bucket went back to the toothpaste factory while little Charlie Bucket was off to school. But on the way, Charlie heard some exciting news. Hey, guess what? Bucket got the blue ticket. Already win. Just now. Look! This is Phineas Trout with a direct TV link to Frankfurt, Germany. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Over 100,000 Wonka Bar tickets have been sold per hour, and finally the first ticket has been found. Here we are with a direct link to Frankfurt, Germany, and here's the family now. Mrs. Droop, Mrs. Droop, may we have a word? Their name is Gloop, G-L-O-O-P. Und dies meine da kleiner Lieben, Augustus. Tell us how you found the ticket. Yeah, I just knew my little snorted boy that Augustus would find us on the ticket. He eats so much candy bandy, but it was almost impossible for him not to find one. In fact, you could say we've been training him for this day ever since our little budgie budgie was born. Training? Oh, yeah. But did you to eat as much as Augustus, he must be trained from morning to night, eating all kinds of foods. Send fries with bacon, tomatoes, and mash with two bread, for some fun spicy dinner. Coffee, with butter, and mama, let's meet me to Nietzsche's galore. And what does Augustus do when breakfast through? I eat more, I eat more. Between meals, he cooks with me all kinds of goodies, like chocolates and puddings and snacks. You must understand, young Augustus is my little pig. There's nothing he lacks. Mom has vodka by sending in sacks. Could they help it, of course, he relax? And dinner? Of course, it's his meal of the day when Augustus comes right off his diet. Eat hamburgers, hot dogs, and ten tons of french fries. And if I want more, they supply it. Augustus keeps thinking. Un eating, un eating. And once Augustus is done, he can't even get through the door. And that's why Augustus has never been done in his room from the day he was born. But what does the poor little lad do all night to prevent me from becoming a bore? I eat more, 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 more. giving important news. A second golden ticket has been found in Sao Paulo, Brazil. Here we are now, where things are getting sweet for Veronica Salt. It's Veruca, you imbecile. Veruca, Veruca, Veruca. They told me it was Veronica. I said Veruca, you moron. <laughs> so, Mr. Salt, I hear you sweeten Veruca's chance with a little bit of assistance? As soon as my little gold told me that she simply had to have one of those golden tickets, I bought hundreds of thousands of Wonka bars. I'm in the nut business. Peanuts, cashews, but mostly Brazilian nuts. Tried all my factory girls, stop shelling nuts, and start shelling raffles. Daddy, that hideous supporter said my name wrong on live television. Can't you get her fired? But you do anything. Anyway, after days and days of searching for that blasted golden ticket, one of my factory girls finally found it. I love to take the piece of chocolate home to our 17 kids. 17? How generous. Daddy, now she's being sarcastic. I want her fired. You hear me? Fired, fired, fired! This is Phineas Trout, where the sweet has turned sour. Whenever my stars are out of sync, I think positive. I wreck my 
my thoughts down in purple ink and being positive. Remember the song when things go wrong, then you'll know what to do. In no time, you'll be thinking positive too. Come on, Papa, sing with me. Whenever I think I'm in the drink, I think positive. Quite right. Whenever my luck goes down the sink, I think positive. Yeah. Whenever you're feeling low or lost, just take a tip from me. You're wasting your time to count the cost. Cause thinking positive, that one's free. Positive is the way to be. Whenever I'm teetering on the brink, I think positive. The moment I do, I'm in the pink and think positive. Remember this song when things go wrong, then you'll know what to do. In no time, you'll be thinking positive. Gee, Charlie, I haven't had this much fun since the factory manager caught his tongue in the conveyor belt. Now let's go home. I'm positive we're having something special for supper tonight. Leftover cabbage soup? No fresh cabbage soup. Now that's positive. <laughs> Open it from all of us. Go on, girl, open it. <gasps> it's a Wonka's Whipple Scrumptious Fudge Mouth Delight. Best of them all, Rio Whipple, careful left at 2,700 RPMs, for precisely 62.3 seconds. Grandpa, please. I thought we agreed on the nutterific. The fudge mouth's the best, and you know it. Now, don't be too disappointed if you don't find what you're looking for. The thing to remember is that whatever happens, you still have the bar of candy. Yes, I know. For goodness sakes, open it! Okay. <laughs> well, that's that. Who wants a piece? We wouldn't dream of it, Charlie. Come on, Dad. At least you have a piece. You deserve something special after losing your job. What? what? Charlie, you better not be Joey. That's not funny. Charlie, tell me it's not true. <laughs> it is true. But we will not starve. Now, what kind of party is this? Hey, let's splurge a little. Put it on the radio. Charlie, William's right. What's a little more electricity? Turn on the radio, Charlie. Really? This is the best birthday ever. We interrupt the Orphan Annie Radio Hour to give you this important news flash. A third golden ticket has been found in Snellville, Georgia. And here's the family now. And what's your name, young lady? Violet. Violet Beauregard. Violet, quit chewing your gum so loudly. Remember what your therapist said about acting out? Aw, oh, can it, Ma? You fly with your jaws as much as I do. So, could you tell us about finding the golden ticket, please? Well, I'm a gum chewer normally, but when I heard about Wonka's contest, I laid off the gum switch candy bars. Now, I'm right back on the gum, of course. In fact, I've been working on this piece for over three months solid. I've beaten the record set by my best friend, Cornelia Prince Metal. Ha, Cornelia, listen to this. That's gross. That's the sound of you losing. Listen some more! Valid! This is Phineas Trout, out.
ladies and gentlemen, this is Phineas Trout with Important News. Over 500,000 rock bars have been selling per hour and the fourth, fourth golden ticket has been found. Leaving only the fifth and final ticket to be found. Here we are, live at the home of Mike TV, the fourth golden ticket finder. Mrs. TV? Yes, hello. Could you please tell us about finding the golden ticket? Yes, well, Shut you your see. pie hole, toots. Didn't I tell you not to interrupt? This is the best part. Crack, whack, smack, dead. Do you see him die? That was awesome. Very cool, Mike. Now, Mrs. TV, would you please tell us about finding the golden ticket? Yes, of course. You see Yeah, I got the ticket. Big deal. Means I'm going to miss, miss at least an hour of my second favorite show, and I'm going to have to leave the house to tour some stupid chocolate factory. Whatever. Hit him. Hit him harder. Well, could you at least tell us what school he goes to? <clears throat> That's... School? Who needs school? I got my game in the net, fool. Some kids like electric trains, and some kids like to use their brains to earn a university degree. I don't share their thirst for knowledge, I don't need to go to college, me, I see it all on TV. Some kids like to sing and dance, and some kids go to Paris, France, while others visit Washington, D.C. I don't learn a single thing, cause I can download anything, it's all on my computer for free. Some kids go to baseball games, and other kids have a use of sims, like 10 days at a Boy Scout Jamboree. While windy kids read books of verse, I play Destroy the Universe. No one has Nintendo games like me. Some kids like to fly balloons, will play the latest top ten tunes, while others want to surf in Waikiki. I can visit London, Rome. Or Tokyo without leaving home. Take a spaceship to the moon. And be back on any afternoon. Yes, we can do it all from A to Z. Cause we got our computer. I've heard enough of those snot-nosed brats. What did she say? What did he say? She said she spotted rats. Oh, goody, goody. Catch one, we'll eat it. That's quite enough. We should all go to bed. Oh, can Grandpa Joe just tell me one more Wonka story? Just one, please? I suppose so. But no zombie worker stories. You need your sleep. Psst, psst, Charlie. Look here. A Wonka Nutty Crunch surprise. But where'd you get it? I've been saving up. Open it. I can't. I'm too nervous. You open it. Let's do it together. On three. Five types of pie chocolate. One, One two, two, three. Mm. Nothing. A, a good thing, really, because chocolate's very fattening. You're right, Charlie. Five times supply of that garbage, you'll be the size of the dome on Capitol Hill. I wish I'd never heard of candy or Wonka. <laughs>
More than two weeks had passed, and the fifth and final ticket still refused to show up. The great city is blanketed in bitter, freezing snow. Charlie, Charlie, where's your coat? I haven't got a coat. Here, take my scarf. You'll freeze out here. Thank you. Oh, Charlie, I hate to ask this of you since it's so cold, but could you grab that last case of nut crunchies? I can't have them freeze. Yeah, sure, no problem. Oh, um, I think you dropped this coin. What? Oh no, that's not mine. Why don't you take that home to your folks? You think I should? Maybe I, maybe I should put up a notice or... You take that home, Charlie. And why don't you take this for being such a good kid? Thank you. Mmm. It's delicious, a perfect blend of Belgian dark chocolate and New World Light with subtle overtones of Moroccan espresso. Ah, <sighs> Wonka's a genius. Thanks for the candy, I better head back to school. Wait, do you think I could get just one more candy bar? I'll pay for it this time. Sure, I'd give you another one, but the boss is pretty strict about inventory. So what'll it be, Charlie? Well, I think I'll share this one with my family. Grandpa Joe likes the Whipple Scrumptious Fudge Mile Delight, but Grandma Josephina likes the Nutterific. Well, then you should get the Whipple Scrumptious Nutterific Totally Twisted Combo Bar. Just out. Here you go, Charlie. And I know you're going to share that with your family and all, but why don't you take a quick taste right now to make sure it's not frozen? On the one hand, you are just a bar of chocolate, no different from the rest. On the other hand, you're the superstar of chocolate, the golden key to Willy Wonka's treasure chest. Whichever you are, I'm hoping for the Look what happens. See what happens? That's what happens when you're thinking positive. Think positive. I never thought my life could be anything but catastrophe, but suddenly I begin. Look for me, cause I've got a golden ticket. I've got a golden twinkle in my eye. I never had a chance to shine, never a happy song to sing, but suddenly half the world is mine. What an amazing thing, cause I've got a golden ticket. I've got a golden sun up in the sky. I did it, I found the last golden ticket. You did Joe, you should accompany Charlie. That is, if you, you can handle it. Handle it? You just try and stop me. I never thought I'd see the day when I would face the world and say good morning. Look at the sun. I never thought that I would be slapping the lap of luxury. Cause I'd have said it couldn't be done, but it can be done. Yes, it can be done.
live at the Willy Wonka Chocolate Factory where history is about to be made. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. You are going to meet the candy maker himself, the greatest candy maker of all time, Mr. Willy Wonka! Come with me and you'll be in a world of pure imagination. Take a look and you'll see into my imagination. Welcome, my little friends. Welcome to my factory. Augustus Gloop, please step forward. Here's my golden ticket, Mr. Wonka. <gasps> Ew! You have some corn. My name's Veruca Salt. I always thought a Veruca was a type of wart, but you don't look like a wart at all. More of a mole, or perhaps a bunion, but it's a pleasure, dear, to have you here. Hi, Wonka. Salt for me. And I'm nuts. Nuts, nuts, that is. A fat one like this must go, through, must go through a million nuts. Make that a million and one. Your ticket? Here's your silly ticket. Can I have it back after the tour? Of course you can, my dear, of course. Violet Beauregard. Here you are. Here's her ticket. There's no gum chewing allowed on the tour. Why not? Because it's disgusting. But you make gum. Mister, I walk I asked you to move your gum. Do we need to negotiate? Oh, psycho babble, whatever. Mike TV, Mr. Mike TV and guests. Here's your ticket, Mr. Wonka. Scrumptious. Oh, and Mike, there's no television reception in the factory. Ha. None. None no. whatsoever. <laughs> Though it's nice to know I have so many fans on that phone thing. I'm not your fan, old man. Ugh. Oh. Uh, Chuck Bucket? Here's our ticket, Mr. Walker. So you're Charlie Bucket. <clears throat> Odd coincidence you find your ticket just in time. Now see here, Walker. Pleasure to meet you too, Mr. You know me, Walker. Do I? Well then, let's proceed. We start with a contract. Raise your right hand. I hereby swear not to touch my line, assign clutch, share tear, wear another such party, first part, and so on. Please sign below. That sounds dangerous. Let me get my loyal wing. No television reception, no mobile phone reception. None. Mm -mm. Ah, where do I sign? Mr. Vanka, just how many rooms has your factory? I'm hungry. Oh, don't lose your head, Augustus. We wouldn't want that. But good question. In the Wonka Chocolate Factory, there are several thousand rooms. I'll show you what some of them are. In this room here are the luminous lollies for eating in bed at night. And in that room there are the exploding sweets for when enemies start a fight. In this room here is the rock candy mine, they say that it's three miles deep. And in that room there are the marshmallow pillows to munch when you just can't sleep. Little room, big room, high room, low room. 1700 candy showrooms, tall rooms, bathrooms, ballrooms. And you'll find chocolate in almost all rooms. In this room here are the chocolate cows from which we get chocolate milk. And in that room there are the hot ice creams for a cold day smooth as silk. And in every room are chocolate miracles, traits beyond compare. Driving rivals to despair. You should see them tear their hair. And all because of this room here. And this room here. And this room here. Oh, this room here. And this room here. Oh, yes, in that room there. Is the room getting smaller, or am I getting taller? <gasps> Ew! Step center, quickly. I'd hate to lose any of you so early on in our journey. Is this a sort of joke? We'll be crushed! Step in the center, now, now, now! <laughs> ah! Ah! Hold your breath, make a wish, count to three. If you want to see magic lands, close your eyes and you will see one. Wanna be a dreamer, be one. 
anytime you please, and please save me one. And here we have the chocolate smelting room, where thousands of miles of copper pipe twist through the earth, carefully chilling my chocolate to a precise temperature, perfect for dipping strawberries. Hey, Franca, I want to taste the chocolate. No matter how tempting, Augustus, and isn't it deliciously tempting, do not touch my chocolate. It will instantly harden like cement. Look over there, there's some sort of creature. Freeze, punk. Chance here where I can see him. No need to worry. That, my friends, is an Oompa Loompa. A zombie worker. Not a zombie worker. A refugee. From where, Wonka? All my workers are Oompa Loompas from Loompa Land. Now, see here, Wonka. I teach geography. Then you know and all about Loompa Land. No, I don't think so. No, that by is not. Those thick jungles and snozzy wingers. Those terrible, wicked Wayne Doodles. I am Wayne Doodles? There's no such thing. There certainly are, my dear and a wingdoodle would just love to sink its sharp, vicious fangs into you. Augustus, Augustus! Augustus. My chocolate must never be touched by human hands! Too late! Oh great, he's gonna give his corn to millions of people! Oh heaven, Sebetsy, no! Oh, he's so good! Oh, I think I've had too much chocolate! Oh! Oh! The chocolate's frozen Augustus. like a magic shell. He looks like an Easter bunny. We've had an early revelation and lost a child in the chocolate smelter. It's a shame. He really seemed to know a lot about food. Alas, take Mrs. Gloop's poop to the strawberry dipping room and heat him to precisely 102 degrees Fahrenheit? Or was that Celsius? No, Fahrenheit? 102 degrees, whatever, but no higher, or he may spontaneously boil, and that would be a tragedy. Because Augustus would be damaged? My dear, Augustus was damaged long ago. The tragedy would be the waste of chocolate. Goodbye, Mrs. Gloop, and good luck. <laughs> now follow me closely as we continue on our tour. What do you get when you guzzle down sweets? Eating as much as an elephant eats. What are you at getting terribly fat? Here we have the Wonkatania. We will now be making the next part of our journey by boat. Please step up and in, watch your step. Violet, don't like the boat, you only make the ship sticky. Excuse me, Mr. Wonka, I simply love your hat. It really brings out your eyes. But of course, you have great taste. You know, I simply adore pink candy bow and maybe one of those sweet little Oompa Loompas. Brown noser. <clears throat> Mr. Wonka, did you hear me? I said I want a pink candy bow and an Oompa Loompa. Name your price, Wonka. <clears throat> the bad parent says what? What? Exactly. Where are you taking us, Wonka? There's no knowing where we're going There's no earthly way to know So we're simply to and froing Slowly getting vertical To the
the south the wind is blowing to the north there may be snow to the west the moon is glowing to the east a cock may crow since we show no sign of slowing someone must know where we are but no destination showing so it's all a bit bizarre the warm moon is easy going like a game of tic-tac-toe we must cease this dilly dally surely shallowing to and fro it's no mystery where we're going unlike edgar allen poe Quite apart from our not knowing, it's the only place to go. <laughs> We're here. This is the most important room in my entire factory. All my most secret inventions are cooking and simmering in here. Voila, the gourmet everlasting gobstopper. It looks like gum. That's because it is gum. Gum. The most dazzling gum in the whole world. Not like that cheap gas station stuff. Gum, oh my. Gum. An entire three course meal without any of those nasty calories. Gum. Although, it's not been properly tested yet. Therefore, we should not chew it. Gum. I only have one dream in life, there's very little to it. To own one stick of lifelong gum and all lifelong to chew it. I chew it all through childhood, I chew it when I wed. If I survive to 95, I chew it till I'm dead. But this gum here is much better than that one. This gum here is a three course dinner. Pea soup, roast beef, and blueberry ice cream. Blueberry is the nicest ice cream. You may feel fat, but in fact you're thinner. Even after a three-course dinner. That gum is so mine. Mmm, it really tastes like pea soup. Oh, and here comes the roast beef. Fantastic, so tender and juicy. But the blueberry ice cream. I bet it's to die. That's what I'm afraid about, to die. Yo, Violet, you're so busted. That gum is gonna do it. Her candy fan gone down, down the drain. drain. I asked her not to chew it. To lay really nothing to it, cause I know just how to chew it. There is no need to poo poo it, all I have to do is do it. Violet, it's so bad for you. Violet, dude, you're turning blue. Violet, what you're gonna do? Stand there singing at my blue. Yes, yes she's turning blue, blue, it's true. Oh, Violet, you are now bright right blue. Right in lousy gum, I knew it. Blueberry blue and fat is to it. I guess I blew it. If it's the last thing I do, I have a blueberry for a daughter.
Well, well, well. Two naughty, nasty little children gone. Three good, sweet little children left. Mr. Wonka, will Violet ever be all right, or will she always be a blueberry? Very probably. Now, come along. There's so much to more. Stop. Strike that. Reverse it. Ah, oh, I quite forgot about this room. This is the fizzy lifting drink room. Bubbles that taste like candy. Mr. Wonka, sweetie, I want bubbles that taste like candy. Actually, the bubbles taste like soap for children with dirty mouths. It's what the bubbles do that's remarkable. What do they do, Wonka? Just one sip of my fizzy lifting drink and you'll float on air. Float on air, whoa. Unfortunately, my legal advisors have prohibited us from taking even the tiniest taste. Now, come along. I've got more exciting things to show you. Oh my, Mr. Wonka? Veruca? Mike? They've left us behind. Ryan. Hello? Who's there? Ryan. Should we? Ryan. Well... I suppose one tiny taste couldn't hurt. Well. Wow. I'm flying. I'm flying. There's no sensation that's quite as sensational as flying. Thrilling, fulfilling, and higher educational let's fly. It's inspirational and recreational trying. Way, way up there in midair to be touching the sky. Which I guess is why there is no feeling that's quite like the feeling of flying. Bumping your head on the ceiling of what's up above. Feeling I'm reeling and my dead defying. Flying. I love. There is no sky that's as high as the sky I am Sound? I don't know. It's getting louder though. We'd better float down. Look up, Charlie. It's a fan. It's sucking us up. Try, try to float to... down. I can't. Try, Charlie. Try. I can't. Think positive. I can't. Think. Uh. Oh, how I love to burp. Uh. People burp from Atlanta to Antwerp. From John Wayne to Ida, just as birds love to trip. Every guy loves to be you or me. Uh, Happy birthday to me! <laughs> so you see, Veruca. Cocoa beans contain a variety of chemicals, the main psychoactive components being theobromine and caffeine. Now, just step this way and... Charlie, do stay with the group. We wouldn't want you to float away now, would we? And here we have the nut room. There we go. Wonka, are those squirrels? Right you are. Highly trained mammalian factory workers. Eventually, these squirrels will crack a walnut from its shell in one piece and at the same time sort the good nuts from the bad nuts. They're so adorable. Here, Squirrely Squirrely. Veruca, whatever you do, do not disturb the squirrels. They're still in training. See here, Wonka. I want a squirrel. I want a squirrel and a new Loompa. I want a squirrel and a new Loompa and a pink candy felt. At it, I want to feast. I want to be in feast. Cream buns and donuts and fruit cakes and no nuts. So good you could go nuts. Give them to me now. 
I want a party with a room full of laughter. I want a ton of ice cream. And if I don't get the things I am after, I'm gonna scream. I want the works. I want the whole works. Presents and presents, sweets and surprises of all shapes and sizes, and now don't care how I want to now. What happens to every bad nut? Which is? That particular shoot leads to the garbage incinerator. The what? Oh, don't worry. There's a chance it may not be lit today. A chance? Yes, well, it's generally lit only every other day. I'm not sure if today's a burn day or not. Hmm. Guess we'll find out. Shame, really. She was so deliciously bossy. A natural captain of the industry. Hmm. But if worst comes to worst, we shouldn't mourn. Veruca wouldn't want that. And she always got what she wanted, didn't she? <laughs> All right. Onwards and upwards, backwards and forwards. Off we go. Please step this way, and I will be with you in a moment. Now, everybody must be wearing their protective, their protective gear. Good. Please place the goggles over your eyes. Fantastic. Welcome to the Choco Vision Room. What is this place? Some sort of television studio? Obviously for making Wonka commercials. Wrong. You're all familiar with how television works. Yeah. yeah. Well, what's this thing do? Sorry, I'm a bit deaf in that ear. I said, what's this thing do? I'm a bit deaf in that ear as well. What's that lumpy doopy doing? You see, television gave me a wonderful idea. If you can send a photo via television, why not a candy bar? That's impossible. It's very possible. Imagine sitting at home watching TV, and suddenly you get a commercial. Try a Wonka bar, try it now. And poof, there it is. A simple touch of that button right there. Everybody, but watch me. Nobody should touch it. I want to be on TV. Mike, Wait, don't no. stop. <gasps> He's gone. Where did he go? Oh dear. I do hope no part of him is left behind. We've never sent a person before. What? Wait, wait. Look, something's happening. Hey everybody, look at me, I'm on TV. I'm the first person to ever be sent by live television. Mike, I asked you not to touch. Put me back, I wanna be on TV. Put me down. He's Ow. completely unharmed. Unharmed? He's barely a foot tall. Yeah. Yes, well, that is a problem. Though, small boys can be very springy and stretchy. Stretchy? Ah, the taffy pulling machine. That should work well. No, I don't think that's necessary. Anything? But how far are you expecting him to stretch? Who knows? Maybe miles. Miles? Please take Mrs. TV and her son to the taffy pulling room. Make sure not to stretch him too far, though please do record how far he can go. No, I don't think that's necessary. Goodbye, Mrs. TV. Please follow me.
What do you get from a glut of tea? A pain in the neck and an IQ off. Why don't you try simply reading? It's not fair. Right, now, thank you both very much, and I'm sure you can find your way out. Wait, that's it? What about Charlie's lifetime supply of chocolate? Yes, yes, the lifetime supply of chocolate. Each of the children will receive their chocolate. Other than that, the day has been a total waste of time and chocolate. Good day, Charlie Bucket, and goodbye. Um, goodbye, Mr. Wonka. Wait, Mr. Wonka, I don't deserve a lifetime supply of chocolate. You see, I broke the rules and I tried some of the fizzy lifting drink, and I'm very sorry. Thank you for an amazing day. It was better than Christmas. Bless you, Charlie. You did it. You did it. Now see here, Wonka. It was my idea to try the fizzy lifting this drink. This entire thing, you won it, Charlie. It was a test of character. I carefully selected each of the rooms to tempt each of our golden ticket winners. You, Charlie, did something quite remarkable. You gave in to temptation, were smart enough not to get caught, and yet you admitted your guilt. But the other kids... And they'll each go back to being their horrible, awful selves, but maybe a bit wiser for the wear. They'll be fine, and they'll each receive the booby prize, a lifetime supply of chocolate. Wait. That's the booby prize. The, what's the real prize? Charlie, do you love my factory? It's the most wonderful place in the whole world. Well, I'm glad to hear you say that, Charlie, because from this moment on, it's yours. What do you mean? I'm giving you my, my factory, Charlie. I need an heir, and that person is you. You want me to run the entire factory? But what about my family? What about mom and dad? The entire family can live here. I'd love to. I'd positively love to. <laughs> Now Charlie makes everything she bakes Satisfying and delicious Talk about your childhood wishes You can even eat the dishes Oompa Loompa Doompa Dee Doo I've got a final puzzle for you Oompa Loompa Doompa Dee Dee If you are wise you'll listen to me Sunrise, sprinkle it with dew, cover it in chocolate and a miracle or two. Charlie can. Charlie can. We know that she can. We know that she can. We know that she can. Cause she'll mix it all with love and make the world taste 